Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Management Studies, SOMS, Certificate Programs. Certificate in Business Skills, CBAs. CITL 001 Laboratory Course. Block 01 Lab Manual 1. Unit 1 Install Your Operating System, Windows Linux. 1.0 Introduction. In this unit, we are going to explore the practical process related to the loading and installing of proprietary and open source operating system, so far as the proprietary operating system is concerned we are going to discuss for Windows XP and on the end of open source operating system we are going to work with Fedora. Before beginning the actual technicalities, let us discuss some fundamentals of operating system. Learners, after going through the study material of other courses of our CIT program, you might have learned that the term software, which is broadly classified into two categories i.e., application software and system software. However you may come across various terminologies related to the types of software, like, shareware, freewares, middlewares, device drivers, linkers, loaders, parsers, assemblers etc., but soon you will be able to identify that these are either the sub categories of our application software or system softwares. As this unit is explicitly about the operating system, so, we will restrict our discussion to this term only. An operating system, commonly abbreviated to either OS or OS, is a system software whose job is to act as an interface between computer hardware and user. OS is Responsible for the management and coordination of activities and the sharing of the limited resources of the computer. The operating system acts as a host for other application software that are supposed to run on the machine, i.e. hardware. As a host, one of the purposes of an operating system is to handle the details of the operation of the hardware. This relieves application programs from having to manage these details and makes it easier to write applications. Almost all computers, including handheld computers, desktop computers, supercomputers, and even video game consoles, use an operating system of some type. Some of the oldest models may however use an embedded operating system that may be contained on a compact disk or other data storage device. But why to talk of old things? Computers is upcoming and dynamic field. Today's mobile phones are nothing but small computers, the OS, which generally works with our mobile phones is Symbian, Windows Mobile Edition of OS, is also there, and many more are in pipeline. The function of OS, here and everywhere is to provide help for running applications on the hardware, which may be your mobile phone. These applications might be developed in various languages like Java. Net. Framework is also in wide usage. Thus, the job of an operating system is to offer a number of services to the application programs and users. Applications access these services through application programming interfaces, IPIs, or system calls. By invoking these interfaces, the application can request a service from the operating system, pass parameters, and receive the results of the operation. Users may also interact with the operating system by using command line interface, CLI, or using a graphical user interface, GUI. Soon, you will come across these interfaces while going through the text of this unit. This unit mainly focuses on the installation procedure of both Windows and Linux Fedora operating systems. It also covers releases of both the operating systems, starting from first version to present version and features of both Windows and Linux operating systems. 1.1 Objectives After going through this unit, you will be able to times list the features of Windows XP. Times know the installation procedure of Windows XP. Times know the utilities of Windows XP. Times list the features of Fedora. 
Times know the installation procedure of Fedora, and Times know some utilities and basic commands of Linux, Fedora. 1.2 Windows Operating System The operating system named Windows is a very successful product of Microsoft's, a renowned company in the arena of operating systems. It has been around a long time and is used by most people running PCs, personal computers. In 1983, Microsoft announced the development of Windows, a graphical user interface, GUI, for its own operating system, MS-DOS, which was not graphically enabled, figure 1 shown. Below, where C colon backslash, is the DOS prompt, referring to directory C colon backslash dot. Since then, Microsoft has developed many versions of Windows, and the product line has changed from a GUI product to a modern operating system. However you can switch yourself from one mode to other i.e. GUI to non-GUI, i.e. CLI, depending on your choice. Below. The installation process of Windows XP is given, once it is loaded, then you can click your mouse on start menu, go to run. Click in it a window will pop up, in the box. Simply write CMD and press enter, you will see the DOS prompt as shown below. Which is the CLI of the GUI IE. Windows XP loaded by you. Figure 1, DOS prompt of Windows XP. Look at the screen. The first independent version of Microsoft Windows, version 1.0, was released in the year 1985. Since then, Microsoft released different versions of Windows, Windows 2.0, 3.0, 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98 and Windows XP, over a period till 2001. Later in the year 2007, Microsoft released Windows Vista. Windows Network Operating System Microsoft released Network Operating System for servers for various network services. Windows NT 3.1 is the first release of Microsoft's Windows NT line of server in the year 1993. Since then, Microsoft released various versions, Windows NT 4.0, Windows 2000, Windows Server 2003 and Windows Server 2008, over a period till 2008. You might be thinking when to use the network OS and when to use other OS like Windows XP, the answer is that, when you are supposed to develop software in client, server environment or networked environment then use the server edition of an OS. Else use other OS, but generally professional applications are developed on NTO. Server Technologies 1st February 2001 Features of Windows Operating System The following are some of the features of Windows Operating System on latest. Releases User Interface and Device Support Windows has Graphical User Interface GUI and also has Command Line Interface CLI for interaction and maintenance of the system. It also has Fast User Switching and Remote Assistance feature. It provides new and or improved drivers and user interfaces for devices. Accessibility and Usability Windows has consistency between its versions and applications. It also has application compatibility. Remote Desktop Users can log into Windows remotely through the remote desktop service. It is built on terminal services technology and is similar to remote assistance but allows remote users to access local resources such as printers. Power Management Windows has power management feature. It supports multiple levels of sleep states, including critical sleep states when a mobile or UPS connected. Computer is running out of battery power, processor power control, selective suspend of externally attached, such as USB, devices, and turning of the power to the screen of a laptop when the lid is closed. In addition, it also dims the screen when the laptop has low battery power. 1st February 2002 Windows Installation Procedure Windows XP Windows XP is a versatile OS. 
which took over various laggings in the earlier OS. Given by Microsoft. You will come across these differences when you work with a machine having Windows 98 as an OS, and then you switch over to a machine loaded with Windows XP as the OS. One major component which really improves the performance and working is the availability of various device drivers which really make device operation as simple as plug and play. However, there are some sacrifices to enjoy such features, i.e., you need to have system i.e., hardware with minimum configurations as given below in table 1. If the minimum system requirement is not fulfilled then you will not be able to install this OS onto your machine, however, Windows 98 might serve the purpose. But to work with Windows 98 you need to install drivers of almost all the devices you want to work with and this hinders the plug and play features. So, Windows XP is in huge demand globally, let us learn how to load it before making us to work on it. Table 1, Minimum System Requirements for Windows XP. Look at the screen. The following step-by-step -step procedure will help you to install Windows XP. The installation procedure is shown with the figure appears on your screen after doing a step. 1. Insert the Windows XP CD into your computer and restart. 2. If prompted to start from the CD, press spacebar. If you miss the prompt, it only appears for a few seconds, restart your computer to try again. 3. Windows XP setup begins. During this portion of setup, your mouse will not work. So you must use the keyboard. On the Welcome to Setup page, press Enter. 4. On the Windows XP Licensing Agreement page, read the Licensing Agreement. Press the Page Down key to scroll to the bottom of the agreement. Then press F8. 5. This page enables you to select the hard disk drive on which Windows XP will be installed. Once you complete this step, all data on your hard disk drive will be removed and cannot be recovered. It is extremely important that you have a recent backup copy of your files before continuing. When you have a backup copy, press D and then press L when prompted. This deletes your existing data. 6. Press Enter to select an partition space, which appears by default. 7. Press Enter again to select format the partition using the NTFS file system which appears by default. 8. Windows XP erases your hard disk drive using a process called formatting and then copies the setup files. You can leave your computer and return in 20 to 30 minutes. 9. Windows XP restarts and then continues with the installation process. From this point forward, you can use your mouse. Eventually, the regional and language Options page appears. Click next to accept the default settings. If you are multilingual or prefer a language other than English, you can change language. Settings after setup is complete. 10. On the personalize your software page, type your name and your organization. Name. Some programs use this information to automatically fill in your name. When required. Then, click Next. 11. On the Your Product Key page, type your product key as it appears on your Windows XP CD case. The product key is unique for every Windows XP installation. Then, click Next. 12. On the Computer Name and Administrator Password page, in the Computer Name box, Type a name that uniquely identifies your computer in your house, such as family room or tongs. You cannot use spaces or punctuation. If you connect your computer to a network, you will use this computer name to find shared files and printers. Type a strong password that you can remember in the administrator password box and then retype it in the confirm password box. 
Write the password down and store it in a secure place. Click Next. 13. On the date and time settings page, set your computer's clock. Then, click the Time Zone down arrow and select your time zone. Click Next. 14. Windows XP will spend about a minute configuring your computer. On the Networking Settings page, click Next. 15. On the Workgroup or Computer Domain page, click Next. 16. Windows XP will spend 20 or 30 minutes configuring your computer and will automatically restart when finished. When the Display Settings dialog appears, click OK. 17. When the Monitor Settings dialog box appears, click OK. 18. The final stage of setup begins. On the Welcome to Microsoft Windows page, click Next. 19. On the Help Protect Your PC page, click Help Protect My PC by turning on Automatic Updates Now. Then, click Next. 20. Windows XP will then check if you are connected to the Internet. Times if you are connected to the Internet, select the choice that describes your network connection on the Will This Computer Connect to the Internet directly or through a network page. If you're not sure, accept the default selection and click Next. 21. If you use dial-up internet access or if Windows XP cannot connect to the Internet, you can connect to the Internet after setup is complete. On the How Will this computer connect to the Internet? Page, click Skip. 22. Windows XP Setup displays the Ready to Activate Windows? Page. If you are connected to the Internet, click Yes and then click Next. If you are not yet connected to the Internet, click No, click Next and then skip to step 24. After setup is complete, Windows XP will automatically remind you to activate and register your copy of Windows XP. 23. On the Ready to Register with Microsoft page, click Yes, and then click Next. 24. On the Collecting Registration Information page, complete the form. Then, click Next. 25. On the Who will use this computer? Page. Type the name of each person who will use the computer. You can use first names only, nicknames, or full names. Then click Next. To add users after setup is complete or to specify a password to keep your account private, read, create, and customize user accounts. 26. On the Thank You. Page, click Finish. Congratulations! Windows XP setup is complete. You can log on by clicking your name on the logon screen. If you've installed Windows XP on a new computer or new hard disk drive, you can now use the file and settings. Transfer wizard to copy your important data to your computer or hard disk drive. Note, whenever you are working with your computer system, do not save your data into the disk space or drive where your OS resides because if something goes wrong and you need to format your system then your data will be lost. Generally, OS is loaded in C drive, so avoid saving your data in this drive and save it in other partitions so that your data is safe, even if something goes wrong and you need to format your system. 1.2.3 Basic Utilities for Windows Windows has a rich set of utilities. You can check the details of these in your Windows. XP In this section, we have given you few additional utilities for file management, productivity, security, and system maintenance. File Management WinRAR is a powerful archive manager. It can back up your data and reduce the size of email attachments, decompress RAR, zip, and other files. 
download it from internet and create new archives in RAR and ZIP file format. FlashKit is a leading download manager and has the highest amount of users on the internet. It uses MHT, multi-server hyperthreading transportation technique, supports various protocols and has excellent document management features. FlashKit is a freeware without any adware or spyware. Productivity, Paint Net is free image and photo editing software for computers that run Windows. Thumbs Plus is an image manager that also includes a database system for image organization and cataloging. Security Windows has various security tools for firewall, antivirus and antispyware. System maintenance, the semantics not in save and restore, which can create full system and file backups to another drive, either in the background or on demand. Disk director switch, it can reorganize a PC for better performance and data. Protection. It is the easiest and most convenient partition manager and hard disk. Toolkit. It brings together the most popular disk management functions, partition, recovery tools, and boot disk manager. 1.3 Linux operating system. Linux is a freely available, open source, Unix-like operating system. Written. Originally for the PC by Linus Torvalds, with the help of many other developers. Across the internet, Linux now runs on multiple hardware platforms. Because of its speed, stability, and low cost, Linux became the fastest growing operating system for servers. Today, Linux is widely used for both basic home and office uses. It is the Main operating system used for high-performance business and in web servers. Linux has made a huge impact in this world. Red Hat Linux The first public release of Red Hat Linux, version 1.0, is dated 1994. After that there are many versions of Red Hat Linux 1.1, 2.0, 2.1, 3.0.3. and 9 over a period till the year 2003. After that, Red Hat and Fedora project were merged. Fedora Fedora is a Linux-based operating system that showcases the latest in free and open source software. Fedora is always free for anyone to use, modify, and distribute. It is built by people across the globe who work together as a community, the Fedora Project. The Fedora Project is open and anyone is welcome to join. Fedora Core 1 was the first version of Fedora and was released in the year 2003. Since, then different versions of Fedora such as Fedora Core 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 were released till 2006. Then new versions such as Fedora 7, 8, 9 and 10 are also released. Till 2008. The installation procedure for Fedora 9 is explained in this unit. 1.3.1 Features of Linux Operating System The following are various features of Linux Operating System. Low Cost There is no need to spend time and huge amount money to obtain licenses since Linux. And much of its software come with a new general public license. There is no need to worry about any software that you use in Linux. Stability Linux has high stability compared with other operating systems. There is no need to reboot the Linux system to maintain performance levels rarely. It freezes up or slow down. It has a continuous uptimes of hundreds of days or more. Performance Linux provides high performance on various networks. It has the ability to handle 
large numbers of users simultaneously. Networking Linux provides a strong support for network functionality, client and server systems. Can be easily set up on any computer running Linux. It can perform tasks like network. Backup more faster than other operating systems. Flexibility Linux is very flexible. Linux can be used for high-performance server applications, desktop applications, and embedded systems. You can install only the needed components for a particular use. You can also restrict the use of specific computers. Compatibility It runs all common unique software packages and can process all common file formats. Fast and easy installation Linux distributions come with user-friendly installation. Better use of hard disk Linux uses its resources well enough even when the hard disk is almost full. Multitasking Linux is a multitasking operating system. It can handle many things at the same time. Open source Linux is an open source operating system. You can easily get the source code for Linux and edit it to develop your personal operating system. 1.3 To how to install Linux operating system, Fedora 9 System requirements, minimum Times 300 MHz x86 processor Times 64 MB of system memory, RAM Times at least 4 GB of disk space for full installation and swap space. Times VJ graphics card capable of 640x480 resolution. Times CD-ROM drive or network card. System requirements, recommended. Times 700 MHz x86 processor or higher. Times 384 MB of system memory, RAM or more. Times 8 GB of disk space or more. Times graphics card capable of 1024 x 768 resolution. Times sound card. Times a network or internet connection. Note, for proper installation keep the size of swap space or swap area, approximately. Greater than or equal to the double of the size of the RAM of your system, the reason behind requires more in-depth understanding of the concepts of OS which can't be discussed at this level. However, the concern is related to the paging and segmentation management when swaps in the memory segments are performed. The following step-by-step -step procedure helps the student to install Fedora 9. Similar to Windows XP installation procedure, step-by-step -step figures are also shown for more. Clarity 1. Insert Fedora CD DVD in optical drive of your computer and boot from it then you will get the following Fedora welcome screen. Select install or upgrade an existing system and press enter key. Wait for a while for the system to load. 2. Select skip button to start the installation. Then Anaconda, the Fedora installer, will load and you'll see the welcome screen. Click the next button. 3. Choose your language. A warning message about the hard drive partitions may appear. If so, click on yes. Button. 4. Set up your network. A. If you have a DHCP network, dynamic IP address, click on next. Button. But if you have a static IP address, ask your provider if you're not. Sure. Click on Edit button and follow the instructions given below. B. If you have an IPv4 address, make sure it's enabled. If you have an IPv6 address, make sure it's enabled too. If you don't have an IPv6 address, uncheck the Enable IPv6 support option. C. Check the Manual Configuration option and enter your IP address and the Netmask Gateway primary and secondary DNS as shown in the following screens. Ask your provider if you don't know them. Do the same for the IPv6 
address if you have one. Click on OK button once you finished. 5. Select your location, country. Click on Next button once you have done with the network configuration to select your location, country, and time zone. 6. Enter root password. Click on Next button to enter the root system administrator password. The longer, the better. Write it somewhere or memorize it. 7. Select disk partition. Here comes the partitioning part. If you have an empty hard drive, all you have to do is click Next button. Make sure the Remove All Partitions on selected drives and Create Default Layout option is selected. If you don't have an empty hard drive and you still want to install Fedora 9 on your machine, then make sure you select the Use Free Space on the selected drives and Create Default Layout option. Note 10 GB. Minimum of free space is required. Click on Next button. Note, encryption is supported in this release and you can enable it with a single mouse click by checking the Encrypt System option. Note, click the right Changes to Disk button when asked. The hard disk will be formatted and the partitions will be created. 8. Select the desired packages. 9. Format the partitions and copy the packages into your hard disk. Click on Next button and everything will be done automatically and watch how the partitions are formatted and the software packages are copied to your hard drive. The installation process will take about 8 to 10 minutes depending on your computer specs and the selected packages. 10. Restart your computer after successful installation. When the installation is over, you will get a congratulations, the installation is complete screen. Click on reboot button and your computer will automatically restart. Note, remove the DVD from your optical drive. Now Fedora 9 Linux operating system will start for the first time. The system will boot. And, before you reach the Fedora desktop, you must do a one-time general system. Configuration Now log into your new Linux operating system. 1.3.3 Linux Utilities and Basic Commands The following are some of the basic commands used in the CNI Linux operating system. However, GUI option is always available, as in the case of Windows. A. Alias alias is used to substitute a small or more familiar name in place of a long string. It is commonly used for a long strings that are frequently used. Syntax alias, name is equal to command. Name specifies the alias name. Command specifies the command the name should be an alias for. A removes all alias definitions from the current shell. Execution environment. T sets and lists tracked aliases. X sets or prints exported aliases. An exported alias is defined for scripts invoked by name. Example dollar alias home cd public underscore html sets home to type cd. Public underscore html. Use the command an alias to remove this. Alias. Alias command can be used even for the following. Dollar alias CL are clear dollar alias CL is clear. Dollar alias copy CP. I dollar alias Dale RM I. Dollar alias delete RM I dollar alias home CD tilde. Dollar alias MD MKDIR dollar alias move MVI. Dollar alias type more. B. AWK AWK utility is powerful data manipulation scripting programming language, in fact, based on the C programming language. Use AWK. To handle complex tasks such as calculation, database handling, report, creation, etc. Syntax AWKF, AWK program file, file name. AWK program contains are something as follows. Pattern. Action 1. 
Action 2. Action in. AWK reads the input from given file or from STIN also one line at a time, then each line is compared with pattern. If pattern is match for, each line then given action is taken. Pattern can be regular. Expressions. C. CD The CD sets the working directory of a process. Syntax CD directory name. Example dollar CD, etc. D. Quad mod is a utility that changes the permission of a file. Syntax mod option. Mod mode. File. Permissions. U user who owns the file. G group that owns the file. O other. A all. R read the file. W write or edit the file. X execute or run the file as a program. Numeric permissions. Quad can also to attributed by using numeric permissions. 400 read by owner 040 read by group 004 read by anybody. 200 write by owner 0 to 0 write by group 00 to write by anybody. 100 execute by owner 010 execute by group 001 execute by anybody. Example dollar mod 644 file. HTM. This gives the file read write by the owner and only read by everyone. Else, RWRR dash. Dollar mod 755 file. CGI. Dollar mod 666 file. TXT. E. Chown Chown is a utility that is also used to change file ownership. Syntax chown, R, owner, group, file. R recursively change file user and group IDs. For each file operand that names a directory, chown shall change the user ID and group ID. If specified, of the directory and all files in the file hierarchy below it. Example hash chown root file. TXT. F. CP the CP command is used to copy files. Syntax $CP source destination. Example $CP ABC. TXT PQR. TXT copy the file ABC. TXT as PQR. TXT $CP star. TXT etc. Copy all files with TXT extension into etc. directory. $CP A asterisk etc. Copy all files starts with the letter A. Into etc. directory. G. Date an essential command to set the date and time. Also a useful way to output current information when working in a script file. Example $Date. H. DF the DF command reports file system disk space usage. With no arguments, DF reports the space used and available on all currently mounted file systems of all types. Otherwise, DF reports on the file system containing each argument file. Syntax DF option file. Normally, the disk space is printed in units of 1024 bytes, but this can be overridden. Options, I list node usage information instead of block usage. An. A node, short for index node, is contains information about a file such as its owner, permissions, timestamps, and location on the disk. K print sizes in 1024 byte blocks, overriding the default block. Size. M print sizes in megabyte i.e. 1,048,576 byte blocks. Example $DF, K$DF, M$DF, I. I, PWD to know the current working directory. Syntax PWD. Example $PWD. J, ln the ln command makes new, alternate file names for a file by hard. Linking, letting multiple users share one file. The ln command creates pseudonyms for files which allows them to be accessed by different names. 
these pseudonyms are called links. There are two different forms of the command and two different kinds of links that can be created. Syntax ln options exiting underscore path new underscore path ln options exiting underscore paths directory. In the first form, a new name is created called new underscore path, which is a pseudonym for existing underscore path. In the second form, the last argument is taken to be a directory name and all the other arguments are paths to existing files. A link for each existing file is created in the specified directory with the same file name as the existing files. Example create a link named my underscore file in the current directory to the file home bill his underscore file. Dollar in home bill his underscore file my underscore file. As above but the link is created in home joe my underscore file. Dollar in home bill his underscore file home joe my underscore file. To create a symbolic link, all works as above except you need to include the S option. For example, to make a symbolic link called Linux that points to Fedora. Dollar ln s Linux Fedora. The only way to see that Linux is a symbolic link is by using the lsl command lsl Linux. The output of this command will look much like this. LRWX RWX RWX 1 Joe users 3 21st March 2009 17 26 Linux Fedora. KLS the LS command shows information about files. It lists the contents of a directory in order to determine when the configuration's files were last edited. Syntax LS A A C D I L L N R R path names. A shows all files, even files that are hidden. These files begin with a dot. A list all files including the hidden files. However, does not display the working directory or the parent directory. C use time of last modification of the inode, file created, mode changed, and so forth for sorting, T or printing, L or N. D. If an argument is a directory, it only lists its name, not its contents. I. For each file, print the inode number in the first column of the report. L. Shows you huge amounts of information, permissions, owners, size, and when last modified. L. If an argument is a symbolic link, list the file or directory the link. References rather than the link itself. N, the same as L, except that the owner's UID and group's GID. Numbers are printed, rather than the associated character strings. R, reverses the order of how the files are displayed. R, includes the contents of subdirectories. Example $LIS, L $LIS, D $LIS R. L, man short for manual, man displays information about commands and A. Keyword search mechanism for needed commands. Syntax man command. Example dollarman find dollarman charm. M, P, S, S, W, D a quick and easy way to change passwords on a system. Syntax P, S, S, W, D, D account name. Example hush P, S, S, W, D. Hush P, S, S, W, D, D, X, Y, Z to delete the password of the account X, Y, Z. N, shutdown shutdown is a command that turns off the computer and can be combined with variables such as H for halt or R for reboot. Syntax shutdown, H, R. Example hush shutdown. O, top top provides an ongoing look at processor activity in real time. It displays a listing of the most CPU intensive tasks on the system and can provide an interactive interface for manipulating processes. Syntax top. Example dollar top. P. VMSTAT The VMSTAT command is used to get a snapshot of everything in a system, helping admins determine whether the bottleneck is CPU 
memory or io run this command to get virtual memory statistics vms tat reports information about processes memory paging block io traps and cpu activity syntax vms tat a n delay count vms tat f s m vms tat s unit vms tat d vms tat p disk partition vms tat v example dollar vms tat 1.4 summary the installation process of two well known os i e windows xp and fedora contributing to proprietary and open source community are discussed apart from the peculiar technicalities and tasks one has to perform while installing the os are also discussed in the fedora part the exploration of some useful cli commands is also performed however to work with fedora professionally you need to refer to the further reading section given at the end of this unit and may need to explore the internet for further help apart from this different versions releases of both windows and linux are clearly specified from first release to till latest release of each various features of both the operating systems are also explained at last the purpose of this unit is to let you perform the actual installation procedures of windows windows xp and linux fedora 9 thank you subscribe to our channel for more updates and we will see you with the next chapter